So yeah, this is uh, my well, room. It's, it's doing it. Yeah, oh. I'm I'm gonna do a funny intro today before I fix my camera situation. This is a super wide angle lens, and like it's like two feet in front of me, and uh, y you you can see my whole room. This is a problem. This is definitely a problem. Definitely. Definitely a problem. Hey guys, it's Lynn. Uh, today, I hope you enjoyed that intro because I thought it was funny. <laughs> uh, um, today, I'm going to do um, kind of a collective haul for makeup, um, specifically lip products. I have gotten a lot. <laughs> um, I'm going to Anaheim in May for Business Professionals of America and of course I have to have like a new lip color for like every day. So I'm just going to start off and some of them I haven't gotten like in just like super recently. Um, some of them ha were in my, I think, in my e.l.f. cosmetics haul. Um, if not, then here they are. We're going to start off with the e.l.f. products. Um, the first one is Rich Raspberry, and I believe this is part of their Essentials collection. Um, it's just a really nice nude color. It comes off really, really, really pink in the camera. And um, I actually broke it, so I had to stick it back together. <laughs> Um, uh, but it's, uh, I wonder if it'll, does it show up any, well, I guess that's kind of closer, um, to the actual color, but yeah. Um, next I have a bunch of lip stains from e.l.f. as well. Um, woohoo! Again, what is with the color, man? Everything is like super vibrant in this video including the massive breakout of eczema on my forehead. Woo! Okay, the colors I have are Pink Petal, Berry Blush, and Nude Nectar. And I I wear this, uh, the Berry Blush one a lot. It's kind of a, um, kind of a, like a maroon kind of color. I'll see if I can't get it to... It's a little bit lighter than the the actual lipstick, but it's a stain. And I absolutely love these stains because, like, the more layers you put on, the darker it'll get. So you could so totally do, like, an ombre lip with these. Um, yeah, I love them to death. And they last really, really long, too. And they don't make your lips feel funny, either, which I think is awesome. Um... Next up, I'm going to do some hard candy stuff. Um, I have two different shades of the uh, um, limp Lip Plumping Serum from Hard Candy. Both of them are pink. Um, ooh, what color are they? This, is, this one is, the lighter one is Pinky Swear. And the other one is Hard Candy. And these ones are awesome because they're really, they really are very glossy, so you could easily wear them over a stain. And I really actually think that they do plump your lips a little bit, or at least make it, I, I don't know if it really plumps them. I think it makes my lips feel a little bit more full because I have very thin lips. Um, I also have a couple from Wet n Wild, a couple of my ass, I have a lot. <laughs> um, I have a lot of lipsticks, babe, yeah. like, like a lot, and these, okay. that, this, this, this is a lot. Um, the first one is actually a liquid lip color, and I really like this one because it, it like dries. It's kind of like a stain, and when it dries, it kind of leaves your your lips like you can see the cracks in it or whatever. But if you put like um, like 
just a clear gloss or even a pink gloss over it, it would be awesome. Um, this one is Click On My Hyper Pink. That is the name of this one. <laughs> and then I picked up these ones at the dollar store the other day because um, they were only a dollar and friggin I like wet and wild makeup in general. Um, this one is Dark Wine. Again, just um, like a dark maroonish, like maybe a maybe closer to like a black cherry kind of color. And then I have, wow, okay, um, fuchsia with pearl. So it's a it's a a pearl finish fuchsia pink. Again, I really really like this one. Um. If any of you speak French, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get this wrong, but this color is Novao Pink, so pretty much just like a Barbie pink kind of color. Again, these are all coming off like really super vibrant on camera, and I don't understand why. Um, and then this last one is called Pink Ice. Again, it's got like a pearl finish but it's more of a nude pink and it's coming off like super pink right there. So that's it for the Wet n Wild ones. Um, I had heard a bunch of people like raving about these Kate Moss lipsticks. Or Kate Moss. Is it Kate Moss? I don't even know. They're by Rimmel. Um, so I got a couple. I got a matte lipstick and then a regular one. Uh, I think this is the matte one. I'm not even sure. Um, but it's in the color number 10. So it's like a really bright cherry red, very Marilyn Monroe classic. And then the other one is called Kiss. And it's number 036. And it's very similar to the... Um, the Nude Pink by um, Wet n Wild, but uh, yeah, I think it's probably a little more similar to the um, the one lip stain by e.l.f. that I have. Um, then I'm, this is just miscellaneous, you will see this one in my Milani makeup uh, review that I will give you in a minute, but this is number 17 plum rose and the texture of this is just fabulous it's so silky and I think it is just a really pretty color um, and then this other one is by L'Oreal Paris and I oh I do have it it's called peach and it, it really is just a peachy color and you can tell I use this one all the time <laughs> I tend to use this one on top of the pink lip stain just because I think it's awesome so yeah those are all of my lip products for this video um, I probably will be buying more so upcoming you will see a Milani cosmetics review and I will talk to you guys all later don't forget to comment rate and subscribe